Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. I hope my voice is audible to everyone. Please put a message in the comment section if my voice is audible. In this segment, we're going to talk about the second part of the what we call the respiratory system as the exams are just around the corner. So basically, we are trying our best to revise as much as possible the recent uh, you know questions of the every system. And this today we're going to talk about the respiratory system part 2. The part 1 very beautiful we have covered. Hello Sama Sheikh. Hi Krutika Subramanyam. How is everything going? I hope my voice is audible to everyone. Great. In the Anna Academy first of all uh, my name is Dr. Anand and as you all know that the March month is now long, no longer available. The test series of the March month are over and also we are launching a previous year question bank which is really very good for all the students try to give that as much as possible and also an Academy light. So we have this like hardly two months left. We have this beautiful an academy light for the NEET PG. We have some practice test papers, subject wise and system wise papers for two months. Light, very light subscription. For that you have to use the code. The code is Dr. Anand and take the light subscription. Okay. Hello Chakravarti. Hello Suraj. Hello Shweta. Okay, that's it. And that's a NEET PG end of the year sale is over. March 28 to March 31st. The all the sales basically they are over. And we have already launching the first prof mbbs batch one of the important batch for the cracking next exams for the first prof mbbs that's it and we have a series of the doubt clarification series basically you know for all the students who are working really hard doubt clarification series so in the unacademy we have something known as plus subscription where you get amazing access to the curriculum live and recorded classes the educators are really good and the content of the mcqs is really nice and then we have the iconic subscription in the iconic subscription you get the unacademy platform and the prep ladder subscription also one plus one is equal to two all the clinical notes question bank everything you get on the iconic subscription right congratulations to the amazing fmg pick toppers people who worked hard deserve to be here now it's your turn osama sheikh now i want you all chakravarti swaraj osama Krutika Subramaniam, your name should be there now. Okay, because you now now it's the time. Now it's the time. If you're a newcomer to the An Academy, download an An Academy app where we have some amazing feature of making the special class where basically you never miss the classes because all the lectures are recorded and you get the PDF also. That's it. So we already make a, I already told you about the NEET PG 2022 high yield theory revision batch. And also we have a wonderful batch for FMG students basically for two months. So anyone interested can please let us know. That's it. So this was the last slide. This was the last slide we were, we were discussing in the part one. Osama, please can anyone open this question and let me know what is the best answer for this question. Osama, what do you think? Exactly. Perfect. A 10 month old child presents with an inspiratory sound. Mother complains that the sound incre with increases with cry and decreases when the child is sleeps in prone position. So can anyone tell me in which condition basically style the child feels better in the prone position and in, in, in the spine position the distress increases? Exactly. So yes, everyone knows about it. The answer is letting go Malaysia. Hey Rahul Mishra, what's up? Exactly. So letting go Malaysia, the child will the distress will increase on spine position and decrease on the prone position yes perfect other than the now the continuity of the slides let's see how much do you know i was asking what are the various types of types of strider you know strider no that one <coughs> so this is strider right low pitch inspiratory sound the most commonest cause of strider is letting go malaysia omega she peppy glottis other than letting go malaysia what are the other important uh, types of vertical causes of strider what do you think Dr. Julie, Dr. Amrit, Amrit, Dr. Shagufta, exactly. So other type of, uh, other than letting go Malaysia, have you heard of letting go seal? Yes, very good. Letting go seal. What is letting go seal? This one. Can we see the letting go seal over here? Letting go seal. So letting go seal. Yes, letting go seal. Number one. Number two, what is this? Have you, what, have you heard of laryngeal web? Have you heard of laryngeal web? So again, why is this we are studying? Because if I'm having laryngeal web, will I have strider? Will I have breathing difficulty? Definitely I'll have. No? Exactly. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. I, I'm also great, Rahul. Thank you so much, Rahul. How's your health, buddy? How are you doing? Where are you? 
okay perfect right exactly yeah so i'll repeat again the causes of strider are it's a very short class till 12 11 30 pm 20 more minutes than the class is over exactly so i'll repeat again there are various types of strider one of the important cause of strider is letting militia the other important cause of strider is letting go seal letting gel web okay and also very importantly okay, what is this can you see this uh, what you call paralysis paralysis of the vocal cord in this one this one this picture there is paralysis of the vocal cord so that also will cause strider okay laryngo malaysia then laryngo seal then laryngeal web and then we have either there could be a paralysis of the vocal cord so strider definitely will happen right hmm, perfect very good रीनल कवर होगा इसके बाद कवर होगा रीनल इसके बाद कवर होगा ठीक है दिस पार्ट इज ओवर दैट्स इट नाउ लेट्स कंटिन्यू ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैन साइकोलॉजी साइकोलॉजी सेज वेन यू फोकस ऑन प्रॉब्लम वेन यू फोकस ऑन प्रॉब्लम यू विल हैव मोर प्रॉब्लम and when you focus on possibilities you will have more possibilities so that's what that that's what the psychology says so what do you think which side you are are you on the problem side or are you on the possibilities side yes respiratory tract infection let's talk about a simple respiratory tract infection like have you we have we had various types of uh, like your respiratory tract infection like pharyngitis laryngotracheal bronchitis epiglottitis or acute bronchiolitis these are the four basic yes these are the four basic uh, type of respiratory tract infection we must know starting with the pharyngitis okay so who will tell me what is the etiology what is the clinical organism responsible for pharyngitis julie osama uh, panchal shagufta swaraj and rahul mishra which is the most commonest organism hello hi shamim hello hi shamim kaise ho great okay hmm yes very good pharyngitis number one pharynx pharynx you know right nasopharynx oropharynx laryngopharynx what is this? this is the posterior pharyngeal wall yes or no so pharyngitis inflammation of this pharynx number one most importantly clinical features same if i have pharyngitis who will tell me julie if i have if you gave me a call and i'm like oh, no I, I can't come i have pharyngitis will, will i have cuff yes or no will i have a hoarseness of voice hoarseness of voice can i get fever also with pharyngitis if you will examine me then my lymph nodes will be normal or they'll be enlarged my lymph nodes will be enlarged yes or no can we appreciate these all points these are points to be told exactly when you have pharyngitis move band karke nahi baithna batana hai fir so as i told i will have fever i will have throat pain i will have any mucosal congestion any lymphadenopathy like that that's a pharyngitis okay and what's the diagnosis how do you diagnose anyone osama kaise diagnose karte hai koi test test karate hai ya clinical diagnosis hai ye normally yes you get a throat swab done throat swab are already done exactly very good rahul so throat swab lete hain usme rapid antigen rapid antigen detection test rapid antigen detection test are already the two it pharyngitis and what medicine do you want to give uh, to this one in general yeah you can give antibiotics yes and what complication the patient can get the patient definitely can get them into rheumatic fever or any kind of kidney issues glomerulonephritis so these were the important points regarding the pharyngitis i'll repeat again pharyngitis like what is the problem in pharyngitis number one etiology etiology is nothing but very importantly adenovirus the most important which virus causes pharyngitis exactly adenovirus that's true and how the patient will present patient will present to you with the symptom fever cough throat pain and this and that right and how do you want to investigate and treat it diagnosed by throat swab and complication rheumatic fever acute glomerulonephritis and then antibiotic is the treatment of choice done exactly okay so that's again very beautiful thing hope is one of those things in life you cannot live without so hope hope is one of those things in life you cannot live without you must hope that everything will be fine okay yeah other than this one pharyngitis over yeah no most common yeah five important very important fmg and exam question most common what are the various most common nothing like little throat pain julie nothing else Ah, so the most common cause of common cold who will can tell me the most commonest cause of common cold rhinovirus try to remember like jinka ha, exactly which is the most common cause of common cold the answer is rhinovirus pharyngitis 
एडिनो वायरस अभी पढ़ा था एडिनो वायरस ओसामा यस और नो सो या मोस्ट कॉमनस्ट कॉज ऑफ कॉमन कोल्ड इज राइनो वायरस फेरेंजाइटिस इज एडिनो वायरस वॉट अबाउट क्रूप क्रूप इज कॉज बाय वॉट या पैरा इन्फ्लुएंजा वायरस पैरा इन्फ्लुएंजा वायरस एंड वुपिंग कफ बॉडी डेरा प्रोड्यूस bronchiolitis it is rsv respiratory syncytial virus so 1 2 3 4 5 these are the very important five important viral causes repeat again rhino virus is for cold adeno virus is for pharyngitis para influenza virus it is for croup and bordella pertussis is because of whooping cough and bronchiolitis ke liye kaun sa hota hai rsv bronchiolitis ke liye rsv these are the important five most common viral causes in general you should know okay now coming to croup croup ka patient kaise present karega very easy croup is there okay laryngotracheal bronchitis right inflammation right so how will the croup present the question number 1 exactly yes yes okay neel says hi sir how are you hope your throat is well yes bro i am my throat is <clears throat> much 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 better and uh, thank you so much thank you so much i'm just tired because whole day i had classes and really tired So let's finish for five more minutes and finish this class in a very positive note. Exactly. So croup, croup. What is it? Number one, you know that it's a viral infection. It's a viral infection. Yes or no? So of the glottic and subglottic region. Can we appreciate this slide? Basically, this is a healthy trachea. In which in croup, that there is a there is a narrowing. There is a narrowing of the trachea. Number one. And para influenza virus. I have told you already the most commonest cause of croup is nothing but para influenza virus. and same thing the patient will have cough or eyes a runny nose tachypnea hoarseness of voice same 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 thing but most importantly if you get my x ray done now here is the difference everyone knows about it yes exactly dr neel says lots of light love to you boss thank you thank you so much send me your number bro इतने प्यार से तुम बोलते हो ना मैं तो यूं ही हो जाता कि कौन है बंदा ना जान ना पहचान प्यार ऐसे उमर उमर के ऐसे है के पत्थर माउंटेन्स भर भर के आ रहे हैं सेंड मी योर नंबर हेयर आई विल एड एड यू ऑन माय नंबर यस सो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली इन द ग्रुप व्हाट कैन बी एप्रिशिएट वी कैन एप्रिशिएट समथिंग नोन एज स्टीपल साइन समथिंग नोन एज स्टीपल साइन वो क्या होता है सर स्टीपल साइन दिस वन डियर दिस दिस इज स्टीपल साइन कैन यू सी चर्च का स्टीपल एग्जैक्टली चर्च का स्टीपल ये एग्जैक्टली सो दिस इज नथिंग बट स्टीपल साइन एग्जैक्टली या Yeah, so there's a num number one. What are we studying? Uh, acute laryngotracheal bronchitis. Number two, it is also known as croup. What sign do you see on X-ray? Steeple sign do you see on X-ray? And exactly, our class will be coming. Will there be a class? What happened? You're right. So we have Ayman. Uh, he says you are amazing. I follow you from Egypt. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, uh, Doctor Ayman Hishman. Uh, God bless you. Right. So Julie, classes will there be? Which classes are you talking about? Your mom, Mary. Which classes? Hmm. जूल के लिए सर की याद आई मुझे दो दिन <laughs> मिस किया दो दिन मिस किया कि सबने मिस किया दो दिन कितने मिस किया थोड़ा मिस किया बहुत ज़्यादा मिस किया सो एज वी ऑल नो दैट द स्टीपल साइन इज सीन इन क्रूब एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली वेयर डू यू सी दिस साइन व्हाट यू कॉल इट दिस इज द थम साइन विट इज द थम साइन एंड वेयर डू यू सी द थम साइन यू विल सी इन एक्यूट एपिक्लोटाइटिस यस और नो सो वी हैव थम साइन एंड स्टीपल साइन स्टीपल साइन इज सीन इन क्रूब and thumb sign it is seen in acute epiglottitis and what is the treatment for thumb sign what do you give for thumb sign antibiotics antibiotics for thumb sign nothing but swollen epiglottis you will see give nothing but antibiotics whereas this one what you called for the steeple sign what will you give in steeple sign what is the treatment for uh, croup yeah steroids dexamethasone plus adr nebulization very good very good julie swaraj shukrupta very good dexamethasone and adrenaline nebulization perfect this part is over over that's it it's very easy yeah yeah and remember one thing basically laryngo malaysia increases on lying down laryngo malaysia in remember omega shape epiglottis supine increases on lying down whereas in croup it is oppo opposite in the croup the the distress decreases on lying down in the croup the distress decreases on lying down whereas in omega shape epiglottis in laryngo malaysia the distress increases on the lying down that also one extra point we must remember okay we must understand 
perfect fine okay 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 what do you think what's the best answer for this question let's see now yeah so we'll finish this class this class was only for 20 to 30 minutes tell me the answer for this mcq i'm gonna wind up the class a child with fever and barking cough on came with in the morning 3 a.m his rr was uh, okay uh strider on coughing okay uh, and fever and what is the next logical step you want to give dexamethasone uh, epinephrine do nothing assure surfactant what do you want to do hmm Ayman says in cardiology there are some missing videos can you please tell them where to find so cardiology videos number one you must be having a, a playlist which Osama has shared which has all the videos of mine in the an academy in the in the YouTube class and now I'm making a list on the a list of my videos for the special class uh, that link also I will send you okay just be in touch yeah so the best answer yeah so DEXA is a good choice see naturally uh, number one give surfactant that is totally wrong you don't a child coming no you never give surfactant if still the option was a newborn baby came a premature baby came then still i can think of surfactant but not over here do nothing reassure no that's a wrong answer so only two options are there in my hand a child who's having strider who's having fever what is the next logical step what's the treatment of croup what's the treatment of croup everyone so dexamethasone and adrenaline nebulization both only is there no dexa and adrenaline so the but the book says but the book says this steroids will be the first step steroids giving steroids will be the first step if asked one single answer then dexa is a good choice exactly dexa is a good choice okay salvation says many videos are deleted sir which videos are deleted then all are there only exactly perfect so that finishes this part okay that's it that finishes this whole class thank you so much everyone let's have a very very quick what all have we read just now in just in this is short span of 20 minutes number one we understood the various causes of strider and one of the important causes of strider was laringo malaysia other than laringo malaysia we read something about laringo seal then we heard something about laryngeal web then also we heard about uh, this one paralysis of the vocal cord uh, muscles then also then we uh, studied some rare unknown causes basically like we have acute pharyngitis croup epiglottitis and bronchitis pharyngitis pharyngitis we covered important yes exactly important points on pharyngitis we covered then we covered about very importantly on the uh, croup croup we covered and these are the very important so remember croup is caused by para influenza virus pharyngitis is caused by adenovirus and common cold is caused by rhinovirus and croup also remember like that only uh, steeple sign steeple sign is seen in croup okay thank you so much everyone yesterday's class will be only for 20 minutes now i'm planning to take short classes from tomorrow i'm planning to take everyday class for 30 minutes only julie so like what i have thought julie is like what do you call seven to eight one session on special class then nine to nine thirty thirty minutes and eleven to eleven thirty that's it mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and esophageal web, as you mentioned, yeah, plumber Vincent syndrome had this problem, iron deficiency anemia, esophageal web, yes, it was there in plumber Vincent syndrome, great, great, thank you so much everyone for this wonderful participation, this was all about 30 minutes of our, uh, what do you call, class, and remember, before leaving, he who does not hope to win, he who does not hope to win, has already lost, he who does not hope to win, has already lost, so our journey, our struggle is not with the world, it is with ourselves. So give your best shot, give your best shot, everything will be fine. So every day, short, short, 30, 30 minutes, I'm going to come and I'm going to just discuss nicely the important questions and uh, that's it. Okay, so, yeah, please take care. Thank you so much, everyone. And see you.